Game Jam is a, a game-making marathon of sorts. So people start on Friday, uh, they're getting uh, some kind of concept. Uh, this year's concept is Extinction, and they're all trying to build a game around it. So um, hundreds, if not thousands of people all around the world building um, on the same theme over 48 hours. You can think of it as a sort of um, all-out game design and game development festival. So uh, 48 hours of serious um, get down and dirty and make your game. And for the next 48 hours, you sleep a little and you work a lot. At this location, we set people up with um, uh, free use of our computers. Uh, we've got about eight computer labs uh, set up for them. Uh, we provide them with food. We provide them with all the resources for paper prototyping, software that they would need to build a game. So they can work here like they were working in a studio all weekend long, never even have to leave our facility. Participants get a lot of educational experience out of this. Um, one of the things that they get to learn is the entire process of making a game. So we spend a lot of time working on just concept development, and once they move through concept development, they tend to work on one branch of it. So they may work on art, they may work on development, uh, there may be someone who's doing level design. Uh, so it's a nice way to take the entire game making process and pack it into a single weekend. And the nice thing is you end up with a finished product at the end. Uh, so people who've been sort of planning to make a game or excited about making a game, but may have not been able to dedicate that time, uh, um, they compress it into this weekend, they get the full experience. One of the things really interesting about the Global Game Jam is the sense that um, in some ways it's just sort of a feat of stamina. So people find, um, almost like a vision quest if you would, uh, people really find new, new aspects of themselves at uh, 3 a.m. on a Saturday night as they try to resolve some complex problem they hadn't um, foreseen in their game. And you'll, you, it's really kind of amazing. By Sunday, you'll hear people and they become sort of die-hard Global Game Jam fans. Um, they, they maybe made their first game or maybe they're on their 15th game. Um, but they really come to love this process. So most people who watch it, uh, in the, the next year they come back and they want to participate. So um, our Game Jam, for example, at Miami University is doubled in size because a lot of people saw it last year and said, I have to do this next year. What's really interesting about the Global Game Jam is this sort of global aspect. So essentially what happens is that we've got people all over the world and everywhere from Australia to Canada to uh, Southeast Asia working at the same time. And we tend to do things like tweet, chat, online, all about our experience. We share the ideas and then all the organizers uh, have met either online or in person to talk about what they're planning to do at their particular locations. So in some ways it's a, it's a really interesting sort of sense of community. Uh, last year in fact we actually broke the record for I think number of games on a single theme, uh, so we're in the Guinness Book World Records for that, which is really kind of cool too. I'm a huge fan of um, independent game making, and one of the things that's really interesting is that when people hear about this event, they certainly are surprised if they're not really familiar with the, the game world in general, and they're really impressed. They're impressed at the idea that this has got global scope, they're impressed with the idea that um, people are making games simply to make games for fun, um, that not all of these are going to be for profit, and that's fine, that there's a real sense of community, that it's not all competitive. All of these things seem novel to them, but I actually think that they're part of um, the fabric that makes independent games really interesting. For someone who's thinking about doing a Global Game Jam, the first thing I would tell you is do it. Any level of experience is useful. If you play games, you have something to say about games, you'd be useful to a team. Um, you don't really know about the experience until you do it. I think one of the best ways to learn about game making is to start making a game. Um, even if you fall flat, you'll learn from that experience. One of the best resources for learning more about the Global Game Jam is to take a look at the globalgamejam.org website, uh, which actually lists all the local locations as well, uh, so you can contact your local um, organizer if you'd like.